Hello. Recursive function to convert a decimal number to another number of any base. Now how to do the conversion? You have to divide the decimal number with the new base continuously. And each time a new remainder is generated, the, those are collected and the remainders are taken in reverse order. What is the meaning of reverse order? It means that the place value of the new uh, digits, new remainders are higher. Right. Now, as you go on dividing, finally you will get a 0 after all the numbers uh, are finished. So, 23 you divided by 2, then divided by 2, then divided by 2. Finally, it will lead to a 0. Right. And the formation is done by, check this out, the remainder into math.pow 10 comma power where power is starting with 0 that means the next one will be multiplied with 10 to the power 1 and the next one will be multiplied with 10 to the power 2 so each remainder is getting multiplied by 10 to the power 1 number more right and finally they all are added that means whatever are the values each time they are getting added now i can show you the program and in the program also you can see what are the values that are coming in the variables and where is the calculation taking place? As the calculation is a sum of a series, whatever are getting added, they have to be supplied as the sum of the calculation. Okay. Now, this one explains the example that has been taken as uh, 23 is the number and base is 2. What do you see? The number 23 is coming in the first time. Base stays the same throughout and power increases one by one and the number also gets reduced one by one and every time whatever is the remainder that is multiplied with 10 to the power whatever is the value of power that value is to be added because finally the result is the sum of all these these this series is getting added right check with another number if I want to convert say 29 to a octal number can you tell me how will the series work let me show you how will the series work here see the modified output calling method decimal to binary and the number is 29 this these uh, numbers are getting printed from the method and the base is 8 and the power is 0 that means the first remainder, whatever is the value in the remainder, which is supposed to be 5, to that 10 to the power 0 is done. Now, if you would like to see the value of the remainder, you can do that also. Here, for you, see the change in the output. And I have made the value come to visible. The value is printed. Now, if you look at the output, you will see we are converting 18 to base 2. So, what is happening to 18 is, it's getting continuously divided by 2 and whatever is the remainder to that. We are multiplying the corresponding math to the uh, math dot power 10 to the power the value of power. So, this is giving me 10 at one point and this 10,000 at one point and the final value of 18 is this plus that, this entire series. Okay. If you would like to see one more example, then I can show you one more example. Look at the output. The modified values for D and base. D is 94, base is 8. That means we are converting 94 from decimal to octal. Check out the value at uh, D first time gives remainder 6. Next time we uh, convert remainder 3 to 30 and next time we remain, uh, convert remainder 1 to 100. Hence, the result is 136. Okay. 